Hello everyone, it's Sagranis here again with another Demo Impressions video. Now after the fast that was the Universal Demo that we looked at yesterday, I decided I needed to find somewhere a demo that had the potential to really tick all the boxes that I talked about not being ticked yesterday in the Universum. That, that being said, I jumped onto Steam, went into the demos, and looked at the descriptions of a few demos until I found this, Nightside by Omnidream Creations. And based on this description, this looks to be a demo that will actually tick the boxes for me and have lots of content and really demonstrate the gameplay. Um, as well as, interestingly, covering a lot of the story, this actually offers the first three missions of the demo and some tutorials, so you can really get a feel, I think also it's a skirmish mode, um, so you can really get a feel for what the game is, uh, which is, I think, a really great, great thing. Of course, haven't played it yet, so we're going to dive in, and what I'm going to do is we're going to have a look at the story, and maybe if we get some more time, look at a few other things as well. Primarily, we'll look at some of the story missions that are offered by this demo. Uh, there are some brownie points I have to watch straight away. It's linked up to Steam, so it can actually grab my thumbnail, or anyone's, obviously. And so up in the top right here, you can see my badge. Isn't that great? Um, not sure how much that actually does to the game. It may have some impact on multiplayer and import that for multiplayer and things like that. That doesn't really matter because we're not looking at multiplayer because it's not even offered in the demo, which is fair enough. So, we're going to have a look at the story. This may be a bit of a longer video because RTSs, which is what this is, tend to be a bit longer. So, story mode. Let's have a look. So, we'll go for... Uh, I will leave it at all the presets as per usual. Into Darkness. Okay, so this is a strategy game. Sci-fi. So it should be quite interesting. Now, this is not a released game as yet, it is purely a demo. Okay. There I was, crashed in the darkness. The exploration vessel unable to take off and just a few resources at my disposal. I had to find a way to send a distress call to the other explorers. From this side of the galaxy, it would probably take years to reach them. Good thing the build platform of the vessel was still operational. Adam Slope, entry 12773SY4004, I'm assuming solar year 4004. Okay. Explorer, mule. You can build the hound and mule. Select all army. You're a real. You're a hound. Eliminate all signal disruptions. Okay. Let's head out and find them. They've been marked on my map. Fairly basic layout of a map. Oh, it would be nice to see curses change for enemies. Um, that wasn't entirely clear, and that would have been good that they were definitely enemies. That doesn't look too bad, I mean. Looks fine to me. Let's move up and destroy the signal disruption. I'm assuming that's resources or something. 
not much tool tipping at present. Um, that's always something that's nice to see. Um, is the old tool tipping. Oh, we have shields. I was not aware. They must be on a cooldown time. But yeah, I strongly recommend um, the use of tool tips. Tool tips are extremely handy in this sort of game in particular. Anything that's sort of mouse driven, tool tips are really nice to have. Uh, so it's nice to be able to just know exactly what things are. Some of their shields. The music's not bad. Um, Looking as it's riveting, but it, it's functional, certainly. Presuming I collect these little things as resources. Yep, that must be a resource tab up in the top right. So. Back over to the other sequel disruption. Now the way they're moving, that, that sort of hovering back, is reminding me of a game and I can't think of what it is. That really bugs me. Missions like this are always a bit slow paced, but um, it's going to be particularly slow paced. Have we still got our mule? Yes. Apparently, you can pay you. It's on the scene up there. I'll build some more units while I continue on. At present, there are no voiceovers by the sound of it. Um, would definitely be nice to see that as well. Um, nothing better than units who talk back when they're getting orders and things, just to know that you are definitely giving orders. Um, now, a cynic might say that the reason that there's such a short field view that does black out completely would be to hide any issues with the performance of the engine. But that's what a cynic would say. I'm just suitable, by a suitable point for it to be. See, that actually annoys me. I'm sorry, but it really does. I prefer to see what I've explored. That's, you know, preferable. Okay, everyone. Let's team up. Um, what's this question mark? Yep, standard stuff. So, thoughts so far? At the moment it feels like a standard RTS and with the speed of the units it's actually quite sluggish. Um, hopefully we'll get to some base building at some point, whether in this mission or the next one. That'll really tell us whether... That's good. I mean, one thing you can't fault this demo for is the amount of content. There are three missions plus all the tutorials. Um, I believe there may even be a skirmish mode available, which is quite frankly a huge amount of content um, and something I have to praise because for an RTS that's the best way. You need to give quite a bit of content in an RTS um, to get people interested. It's not like a platformer or anything like that where you can sort of give them a really good taste with a very short amount of gameplay. Um, you really need quite a bit of, of content. For an RTS to get the people, get the, uh, to help people get their teeth into it, um, which is very very important because obviously you want to sell it. RTSs, I believe, don't tend to sell as well as some other platforms purely because 
there um, of a type that's um, a smaller seller, I think, to be honest. Uh, a less rapid seller, certainly. I do like this. I like the, the fact that you can activate shields for everyone. I'm assuming each faction perhaps has a different ability. Let's take that out. Activate the shields again. It's quite tough. So how do I know when I found a suit in the spot exactly? Or is it just going to make me go and take the third one? No. Sending the message. Of course we're under attack for doing that. This is, after all, an RTS. Shield up. Send you over there. The way they sort of shove units out of, out of the way and then they other move, units don't move back is a bit of a pain that could get really annoying. The unit building's quite fast. When the units moved as quickly as they were built. We've completed the objective. So what now? Do we just hold out and so oh Jesus. I'm assuming that was a friendly if it picked me up. Yes, man, that was victory. That was quite confusing. I thought we were being kidnapped. All right, let's see what this video has. I they intend to add voiceovers to these. Now the music's not bad, but I have to say it's very repetitive. Okay, episode 2, The Nova. I managed to send the message just in time before having my drones destroyed and being snatched by an alien ship. Oh, I was kidnapped. Hopefully one of the other explorers will receive it. Adam's log. Entry 1277 Yeah, you know. Press. The Nova began acting friendly towards me and allowed me to learn about their history and culture. So I learned they were at war with another alien race, the Ix, Ix, Yx, fighting over the valuable resources that I call Green Ice. It was not long before I started fighting alongside them. So I'm guessing I'm now going to command the Nova with the human hero. Okay. Now, while they're a different faction, they're walkers instead of floaters, great. Um, there's not that much difference. These are just your usual orders that you yeah. Now, I know that these guys are supposed to be a different faction. But the unit design isn't really um, variable enough, I think, to my mind. Like, there's very clearly an art theme in this game being used, but it's so... Uh, like, these guys nearly look like my human units did, so... There needs to be more variation than just colour and slight difference in shape. There needs to be drastic difference. Think about something like the Grey Goo. Look at how different all those units looked. Um, that's something that's really important, especially I think if you're going to make it in the, the genre at present, you need to make your gaze stand out. Um, as I said, if we get to some base building, we'll probably know more about whether or not um, there is that variation that's needed. But based on just the unit control, it's it's not that good. And the story's not bad, but I'm pretty sure it's been told before. However, that all said, that's an evaluation of the game. If you were just to talk about the actual creation of a demo, 
And I will point out that this demo does exactly what a demo should. It gives you a really good idea of the game. And I think that's something a lot of people forget. There's a difference between... <sighs> this is going to sound weird. There's a demo for the sake of a demo. And there's a demo for the sake of marketing. And I personally consider the former a better way of doing it than the latter. Because... If you make a demo that's a good demo, I think you're actually going to get better sales because people will appreciate it more. Whereas the demo for marketing, which is a short sort of vertical slice of a game that gives you all of these lovely things to play with that you may never, that may not be entirely representative, then you know, not so good. Construct extractor. Okay, so you go on that. And you go on that. Music's changed. Odd music. Scout. Ground control. Okay, so you build the buildings from. Yeah. I guess. A couple of those. Oh, okay, so for these guys, they fly out. Land the building. Let's land it there. Why not? Interesting, certainly. It'd be good for these to show their actual range, so you know if they can actually be able to hit things. Like, because I like to lay my turrets, so there's always a turret in range of another turret for defensive purposes. You get on that. You get on that. You seeker predator needs a research center. Them. Okay, so the base build is not too bad. It's quite rapid, actually. Um, now, this is the thing I'm going to have to complain about. I don't want fast building bases and slow units. It feels odd. Like, why is it that my buildings always move at the same speed as my units? That, that's really quite bizarre. I don't know how I feel about that. I, I'm not sure if I like that. We'll probably try to plow through this mission. Got into five minutes already. And um, probably not through the third mission just for the sake of time. But, I mean, it's still enough. I'm still. I don't mind the aesthetic, but it's very gloomy, very dark. And I don't like that Fog of War completely obscures where you've already been. I'd like to at least be able to see the outline of the terrain. That would be good. Skydome. Sounds fun. This is quite cool. It shows you this little symbol in the corner, I think, tells you what the unit can attack. So this can attack air and ground, so up and down. This can only attack ground, so only down. I think that's a really nice feature, and I do appreciate that sort of informative thing. And, okay, these buildings look very similar too. I mean, I understand they're all coming out of the mothership. Yeah, it's all a bit samey samey. Gathering your resources quite quickly too. No, I don't do that. So what air units do we have here? We just have to so just get five of those. Also the building queue squad short's only a five. A maximum of five. Would be nice to see. Longer building queues in five, that's since you've got the Starcraft. I believe you had seven, I think. Um, I mean, I remember the days of Warcraft too. That's quite bad. Um, 
and all those Age of Empire games before queuing, you know, that was painful. My rally point doesn't seem to be working. Okay, rally points. Oh, you have to actually. Oh. Uh, that's a bit. Just let me right click to set up rally point, guys. Come on. Building, I mean, yes, I know the building can move, but it wasn't moving then. It can't build units if it's moving. Let me set rally points like that. I'm gonna build another five of these. Go for some total annihilation. Oh, okay. Give them another three. I like this. This line it tells you exactly where it is positioned to the ground, which is quite handy because some games can be a bit misleading with that. I thought I set your waypoint. What do I have to set on the right? There we go. Okay. Off you hop. Wonder if this will be enough. Seem to be catching the peace court. Oh good, peace court. Well once once it's done I'll just Can I take the builder can't take off again, can it? I hope it can. I love the lights, like I think this would, this would actually look pretty cool. If you're allowed to see a bit further. Alright, more enemies. Can you take off? Yes. Okay. Now. I'd also advise having checkboxes around buildings and it not drop units where there's no room for the unit to get out of. That would be something nice to see because obviously it's quite easy to do. Alright, let's go and find this enemy mastermind. Hopefully we've got enough troops to do so. But yeah, I think unit design is okay. It's just that all the factions are quite similar. I'll actually show you in a bit after this um, the similarities between the factions, uh, just from sort of tech trees that are available. You do have hotkeys here to select the different buildings. That's quite cool. And research center. Oh, research me all the upgrades. Should have done that before. Terrible. How could I do that? Use your research hog. Boost out effects and damage and violence. Enemy. Hello, enemy. See, what is that? It's a. Oh, it's a recharge with heals people, I guess. What to do with that? It's not very tough. Also, I mean, I'm sure that'll be improved, but these resource things don't mesh into the ground very well. They sort of look awkward, and I'm not sure. That. Also, the gun sound effects change at random for no apparent reason. Do I actually need these air units, or are they just, were they just a waste of resources? Uh, it's one of those. Research center. That was quick. Okay, double clicking. The squad number does call you to them, that's good. Solid. I mean, there's nothing buggy about the game, and it all plays like a standard RTS, and I think that may be both its greatest strength and greatest weakness. It plays like a familiar RTS, and that's good, because that means you're not making the player uncomfortable, they're not taking them out of the comfort zone. But because you're not doing that, you're not challenging them, challenging them potentially as much, um, and your difficulty settings are probably just going to be more units, less damage, more damage, that kind of thing. Um, and perhaps slightly smaller AI, but it's not challenging me with any gameplay elements. Oh, well, we do have purposes for ships. Um, and because it's so, at the moment it feels so like other RTSs, I don't think that's a good thing. Um, it doesn't make it, to my mind anyway, particularly competitive um, in the market, purely because it's, it's, it's another, another RTS. Yay. Um, I'm sorry that sounds so negative, but 
the reason certain RTSs work is that they challenge things. One of the only RTSs that can really get away with being a bulk standard RTS, I hate to say it in this day and age, is StarCraft. And that's because Blizzard have been well established as an RTS center. So they're not actually copy well, in a way they sometimes do copy other people, but in so many ways they consider not to be copying anyone else because they are formula. Whereas if you're making a new RTS, you have to do it differently. Um, one of my favorite RTSs of recent years is actually World in Conflict because it t takes things from a different viewpoint, it approaches it so differently. Um, there's no base building in, in that. Um, it's very much just tactical stuff. Um, also, it was incredibly good looking for its time. But yeah, I just... I am wary of making stuff that's too standard, too sort of run of the mill, especially when you're trying to get out there as a new developer. Um, that said, I mean, it's not a bad game. It really isn't. It's just that it's... I don't think, I don't find it new or exciting or challenging. It's just another RTS. Music isn't bad. It's a bit odd, to be honest. It's cool, but very, very odd. They keep coming at me, I keep killing them, while we wait for our reinforcements. Okay, now I want to test something to see how the pathfinder is. I'm going to go shift here. Does it do it? Yes, it does. Good. Excellent. Always good to see some good pathfinding. Oh. Oh, that's rude. They didn't quite do, do the pathfinding I wanted to do. My bad. Probably my fault there. He got stuck somehow. Strange. Oi, get back. Okay. Double click to select all and head over there, please. The unit animations aren't too bad until they run into each other and they sort of slide around nonsensically. Those planes are incredibly slow. One's gonna get blown up. There she goes. No ex real explosion sounds as yet. Would be nice to see that as well. I mean, obviously this is a early stage demo, so, you know, there's a lot to be done, I think. Most of them, that was well done. A total of one ship of five made it. That was my fault though. Select all. Okay, let's go. So those little fellas are obviously in a rush to get killed. I'm assuming that's the mastermind there. Uh, there it is. I mean, it's cool looking, but the art style doesn't. It isn't outstanding. It's interesting, but doesn't. For me, it doesn't grab my attention overly well. Sound effects definitely need some work. The music's not bad. Um, I'm sure the plot's pretty good too. And we win. Okay, cool. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Which is. No, what the heck? No. Skip that. Okay. Options. That's just another. Surrender. Yes, thank you. I'm defeated. Oh no. Right. Back, 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 back. Okay, so I'll just show you here the tech tree. This is basically as far as we get all of the units currently available. So that's the Nova, that's who it was playing as. Then you've got the X, the X, whatever. Then you're the humans. Um, the Nox, which seem to be a bit inspired by the goo. Um, okay, so my issue is this. I think it's the colour palette. 
is partially but it's very gloomy, it's very grey with neon. Uh, which in and of itself isn't bad, but there needs to be more variety. Uh, also, the units all seem to be fairly samey, regardless of faction and their attacks. Things I'd like to see improved, obviously, sound effects, voice acting, um, a bit more feedback in the systems, maybe alarms if units are attacked off screen. Um, units are so slow, yet the buildings are so fast, I'm not sure about that either. But as a demo, this gives lots of content to look at, which is cool. I won't look at any other factions purely for the sake of not making a massive video. Um, I may later down the track when this game has been up, um, you know, further developed and things, I will come back and have a look at it and see what we can find. See if it uh, realizes its potential. See if it's able to make itself different enough to be viable in this genre. I've been Sigrunas. This has been my demo impression of Nightside by Omni Dream Creations. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you next week.